Backwards instead of challenging right off the bat. There's that right hand. He's looking to land and did on Rocky. Nothing happened. All pick right hand though by Lockford this time. And Lockford's able to land with the right hand. Came back with the left. And not fighting his usual busy fight. Gomez able to land, and he was proud into it. Oh, that's passed by Lockridge. Gomez rocked with that punch before that one. He went back on his heels. So that's the end of two, but look out. They're still trying to get at each other. Balling and brawling here in this third round. Referee Rodriguez staying out of that one. Final seconds of the round. Continues. A oh, right hand by Lockridge. He put Gomez on the chin. But Gomez right back and then took a left hand by Lockridge. And a good right by Lockridge. Coming up on a minute left. Round four. Good combination by Lockridge. Right hand by Lockridge. He's been landing the solid blows here in this fourth round. Coming up to the end of this fourth round. Alfredo Gomez as far as his arm. Remember, Rocky Lockridge has been pounding those... Lockridge is uh, chopping wood here. He's just chopping the tree down. And it's gone by. Seventh round. Gomez <laughs> fighting off the ropes. Right hand grazed Gomez. Than Rocky Lockridge. And Lockridge with the combination. There's the right by Lockridge. Letting Gomez back. Oh, a good uppercut by Lockridge. And Gomez is hurt. Gomez beginning to take to do, but your body is not responding. It happens to every great champion. They cannot beat Father Time. Combination by Lockridge. We are early ninth round. Responsive the way he wants him to be. This afternoon. And we may be seeing history in the making. We may be seeing the end of a legend here because Wilfredo Gomez is the last of those great Latin champions that came out of the Caribbean at the same time. Duran. Putting that at tenth round. And Lockridge able to land with the combination, looking to put Gomez down. And Gomez throws Lockridge through the ropes. It would be all over. Halfway through the tenth round, scheduled for 15, and Lockridge continues to tee off. I would not be surprised to see some meaningful discussion about stopping this fight in the corner from Angelo Dundee's corner. He's just about through. But uh, Lockford's not able to land. It looked like he had him. Trying to just survive the round. Lockford with the combination. And again has Gomez about to go. <laughs> Gomez landing a right, prompting the wrong, but he has nothing left. Crowd getting into it. 
a very little effect on the part of those blows thrown by Gomez. Gomez landing with the right hand, looking a bit more confident. He's punching Rocky. Rocky Lockridge is walking around. And Rocky looking to land with that sledgehammer right hand. To see an old champion come back from the edge of disaster and win that title back. Crowd cheering because Lockridge... Matters. Once again, oh, well, I don't know why it. they don't just put tape around the shoe. That's the way it goes. All that time out is good for Wilfredo Gomez. All the way things have been going. All but written off by everybody around here, including yours truly. He has come back in the last three rounds to make this a battle. Lockridge, though, with his best punches in several rounds. That's apparently because those were hard, good punches. Coming up on 10 seconds left in the round. Fist him. Well, I gave that last round to Rocky. And I believe he's so far ahead he'd have to get knocked out. But it wouldn't be the first time I'm wrong. Crowd on its feet. Well, I want to say a tribute to the champion heart of Wilfredo Gomez. Seconds will kick off. The chant of Gomez. As we approach 30 seconds to good, right hand landed by Lockridge. And it really shook up Wilfredo Gomez. And that is it. They go the distance. The other judge, Contra, G. Kipris of Canada. 144, 144. 148-144. Unanimous decision. Y nuevo Wilfredo Gomez. <laughs>